It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm super excited today to bring you a beer from Malta that, well it's a strong ale. It's a strong premium ale from Malta. Now if you think about Malta, boiling hot country, probably a lot of lager drinking going on there. I find it fascinating that there's still a place for real ale and good strong premium ale and that's because this brewery was set up in 1928 so in four years time they're going to be celebrating their 100th birthday Farsons Brewery they're now Farsons Sisk so they own the Sisk brand so ironically probably 95% of the brewery's production is probably Sisk Lager. But what I find fascinating about, about it is that they will still produce this like 6.8% ABV, 330 milliliter bottle. And it's a fine bottle as well. It's, it's, it's presented really, really well. They still have room for this. And it's probably the winter months. There's probably a lot of enough people living in Malta during the winter months that, you know, they don't want to drink that. Nobody really wants to drink a cold lager in the winter. I can't imagine a Maltese winter being full of snow. But at the same time, there's probably a time where you want to drink a strong ale. So 6.8% ABV, a really well presented bottle. Thank you very much to Neil Long, who holidays in Malta. There's the bottle cap. Still got that lovely bottle cap look. Oops. Beer in the glass then. Look at that. Look at that for a rich ruby coloured ale with a one finger white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. Of course, this beer, they do a, a, a just a Farsons Red. So you can buy a Farsons Red Ale. I, I imagine it's probably about between four and a half and five percent ABV. But this being a double red, they probably just doubled up on the malts and got it to 6.8% ABV. So, clear looking beer, no sediment in the bottom of the glass. It's been filtered. But it still looks delicious. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, that's right up my street. That smells absolutely fantastic. It's got this wonderful biscuity kind of nuttiness to it. I do wonder if the origins of this brewery going back to 1928, whether they were British people that emigrated to Malta and they took all their recipes with them and set up a brewery. It, doesn't, it, it definitely has that kind of feeling of a very British traditional regional brewery from Britain, maybe like Green King produced something really strong or Shepherd Neem produced something really strong, like their generation ale from Shepherd Neem. It's got that very kind of like, because they know how to brew. These brew, as big as these breweries get, they know how to brew small batch beer. Big and rich and malty, there's some licorice, there's some biscuits in there, some toffee, a bit of spicy pepperiness. It smells great, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful beer. There's something about when a larger brewery reverts back to producing small batch beer, a, li a little special beer that 
nearing nearing seven percent ABV. There's something really nice about it because they can do it. As I mentioned earlier, they, they they know how to brew. They know they go back through their ninety six year old brewing records, and they find an old recipe that's just pretty fantastic. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. Licorice, biscuity nuttiness, hoppiness, all coming in at once. A nice rounded bitterness starts off with a little bit of sweetness. It's not overly sweet. A lot of that sweetness has been kind of fermented out, brewed out of the beer. But there is a little bit of sweetness there because of, the, of course there's so much malt in the beer. And then it finishes off with this lovely kind of bitterness on the back end. So the beer's got really nice balance to it too. A really nice balanced, lovely beer. It's good. It's good. I'm not sure if you can hear them. <laughs> cat's trying to get into the window. Um, so the cats are not climbing around on the units anymore. And the reason, but I'm not sure if you can see this, this the main cat footprint on the on the door there. So they were finally allowed to go out. They had their injections. They had to stay in for another two weeks. We kept them in for four months. Oh, well, no, three months we kept them in for. We let the cats out and uh, they're just loving it now. <laughs> they're absolutely loving life. Right, uh, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Simmons Fast and Sisk PLC, Farsons Brewery, Mrihel in Malta. 6.8% ABV, the famous original recipe. If you can find this beer, if you go to Malta and find this beer, then please find it and enjoy it because it's excellent one last look at it before i before i rate it have a look at that beer have a look at the head recreation on that beer lovely deep amber colored beer great aroma fantastic taste Thank you very much again for Neil Long, travels to Malta on holiday, sends me the beer, absolutely fantastic. It's just the type of beer that it, it, it's chill, completely chilled me out. I'm rubbing my ears, I'm rubbing my eyes, I'm chilled out, I'm relaxed. I could stand and drink and talk to you about this beer all day long, but I won't because I'll bore you. Um, rating for the beer, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thanks very much for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.